This is S.H. Merenguso, the leader of OAF. Why is it that up to today, Africans do not yet have the African language? It is hard to believe that the people as ancient and great as Africans do not yet have the African language, whereas the Arabs with their many tribes have the Arabic. The Chinese have chosen the Mandarin. The Europeans have French and English. The Americans, who are mostly Europeans, speak English. But Africans, who are the most ancient people on earth, have not yet been able to come up with a unifying language. I don't get it. Why does Africa not have one language? How can we be Africans and yet there is no language called African? What is Africa waiting for to have the African language? Is it that we prefer foreign languages or multi-ethnic languages than an indigenous <laughs> Time for language? Africans to rise to the top again. How can Africans be proud of 2,000 languages which are profitless to us since we still have to depend on the languages used to colonize us? And when all facts prove that there are more advantages in having one language and many disadvantages in having multiple languages. For example, in 2016, trade between Africans which was just at it was just at 18%, while intra-Asian trade was 59% and intra-Europe trade was 69%. Any book written by an African has to be translated to many languages to reach other Africans, whereas in America, the book already has a continental audience. It is hard to have a large network like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and so on in Africa because of language differences. But those media easily spread because the country where they were developed in, that is America, has a large population with a common language. The lack of a common language in Africa makes it hard to do a continental business or education or mass movement across Africa. It is a very big barrier to African progress. How could America have been the most powerful nation in the world if New York was speaking New Yorker, California speaking Californian, and maybe 50 other languages, and every other state in America was speaking 20 languages each. Could you imagine how America would have been if that was the case? The only reasonable thing they could have done was to adopt a single language, and that is what they did. Africans, English, French, German, natives, all other people that make up America all speak one language, English. Since the majority of the rulers and the influencers of America are mostly Europeans and British, the Chinese had to choose the Mandarin out of hundreds of languages so as to have a unifying language, language which affects everything in China and now puts China in the front of world powers. It couldn't have been possible if China hadn't made a tough decision. Even in the Berlin Conference of 1884-1885 that cemented the colonization of Africa, the Europeans used French language as a common language to discuss how to divide and rule Africa. After the rule of blacks, that is the Moors, in Al-Andalus, that is Spain, from 711 AD to 1492 AD, the Spanish people threw away the Arabic language which was used to colonize them and redeveloped their Spanish language which they still return to today. But not yet in Africa. We still have thousands of languages but not one for Africans. We allow ethnic identities in Africa to dominate the African identity. We even institutionalize the languages that we are used to enslave, colonize and rob us, and we now make fun of anyone who cannot speak the languages used to colonize us like their owners. Unfortunate. The effect of colonial languages in Africa are still here today and becomes worse every day, as we still have Arab Africa still speaking Arabic, French Africa speaking French. British Africa speaking English and Spanish Africa speaking Spanish. Hence, linguistically, Africa still belongs to Europe, uh, to the Arabs, just like the countries in Africa. This is one of the pains we have to bear for not having our own language. The colonial languages made official languages in Africa still do not solve the problem of lingua franca for Africa. The most widely spoken language in Africa is Arabic. It is estimated that there are more than 150 million people who speak Arabic as their first language in Africa. However, the language is mostly concentrated in Northern Africa and some parts of Inner Africa, so Arabic is not Africa's lingua franca. English, the second most popular language on the continent, has about 130 million speakers in Africa. They speak Afri English as a second language. So, still, English is not a lingua franca. French, a European language that was introduced in Africa through colonization, has about 150 million, 150 million Africans who use the language as a first or second language. So, French is still not a lingua franca.
Swahili or Kiswahili is the fourth most popular language on the continent. This is a Bantu language that is spoken as the first language among the Swahili people of East Africa. It is estimated that speakers of Swahili language in Africa are more than 100 million, but only about 15 million speak it as a first language. Swahili is the indigenous African language that has the highest potential to be the African language. But the decision for the African language must be made together by all African leaders and people. Hence, today, there is no language yet that all Africans can communicate with. The boundaries given to us by ourselves and our colonizers still limit us. Only one language can dissolve the language borders in Africa and let us understand each other. And that language is the African language. Now look at the top 10 languages in the world and their estimated number of speakers according to Babel.com. Number 1. English language 1.12 billion speakers 2. Chinese language 1.10 speaker, billion speakers 3. Hindi 534 0.2 million speakers, 4 Spanish, 512.9 million speakers, 5 French, 284.9 million speakers, 6 Arabic, 273.9 million speakers, 7 Russian, 265 million speakers, 8 Bengali, 261.8 million speakers, 9 Portuguese, 236.5 million speakers, 10 Indonesian, 198.4 million speakers. Out of the top 10 spoken languages in the world, not one African language comes up and there is no African language taken seriously anywhere apart from inside Africa. How can the world respect Africans when languages from all over the world are top in the world while Africa, the second largest population in the world, has no global language, no lingua franca? How can the ethnic groups of Africa unite without a unifying African language? How would the United States of Africa look like with a thousand languages and colonial languages. How would that be the Uhuru we dream of? How can Africa be rebuilt from Cairo to Cape Town in different languages? Now let me tell you a story you may or may not have heard of. A story contained in the book of Genesis. Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shina and settled there. They said to each other, come let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and tar for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But God came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, If as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they have planned to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so that they will not understand each other. So God scattered them from there all over the earth and they stopped building the city. And they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel. Because there the Lord confused the language, language of the whole world. From there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. From the story above, you will see the power of one language. That God himself said that as one people speaking one language, nothing would be impossible to them. Immediately, God scattered their languages. That was the end of building the city. God did that because he didn't want mankind to concentrate on a particular place. He wanted mankind to spread all over the world, which man has done today. God wants Africa to be rebuilt. God wants Africa to be great again. God wants to see prosperity for all Africans rather than mass poverty that we are seeing today. And the only way we can achieve full progress in Africa is by unity and the key unity we will need is the unity of language, the African language, and we shall achieve it by the grace of God. Once we have the African language, the unity of Africa will be increased. One African language will also give birth names to Africa because we shall have African names rather than the ethnic names we have today, but names that can be understood all over Africa. Also, inter-African trade will be increased tribalism will be reduced, the colonial influences in Africa will be cut off, and the leaders and the people of Africa shall as one rebuild Africa from north to south, east to west, and the influence of Africa shall spread all over the world, as the nations of the world that want to spread with Africa must learn to speak the African language and not the other way around, thereby boosting the esteem of Africans and changing the status of Africans from last to first. 
therefore, let us all come together as one and decide the language that will be the African language and together enrich it, develop it and make it the best in the world. We can do it. Let us do it now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel.